All right, Churchill, that was some pretty good driving. You held a nice consistent speed in the slalom. You didn't use any death paw on the steering wheel. However, you did hit a few cones and uh, you might want to not hit the corner workers next time. here, better known as the Autocross Mustang. So Axtang here is a street modified SCCA spec Mustang. So that is a Autocross club that we race in. You can find much more information about stuff like that on our website. So as you've seen in the previous build videos you can see below, we've made a lot of changes to the car. Now we put on these beautiful 335-3018 uh, Hoosier A7s with the Ford Stars and the Meyer Racing Fender Flares and the thing is just an absolute beast now. So, what are we gonna focus on for this 2018 season? Well, now that the car is pretty much finished, with the exception of a possible motor build, uh, but the suspension or any of those kind of components is not gonna change anymore. So, I'm gonna focus on becoming a much, much better driver and really dialing in this car. So how are we gonna do that? Let's take a look at the tools inside the car. All right, so I'm in Axtang here. First thing you'll notice is I have this Android tablet here which displays uh, Torque Pro via a Bluetooth OBD2 sender. So this Bluetooth OBD2 sender, uh, I have a couple DIY videos and I had set this up on your car. So it displays intake air temperature, coolant, RPMs, but one of the cool things that shows immediate feedback is your top speed achieved. So go out and do a run, hit 73 miles an hour, come back, reset it, go out and do another run, you see you hit 77 miles an hour. Well you know, obviously you're doing something right. So, in correlation to that, uh, I'm using another Bluetooth OBD2. I have a splitter over here by the, uh, the driver's side, and I'm running Track Addict. So I also have videos on how to set this up. So for Track Addict, that displays the digital dash with the RPMs, the speed, and now that I'm running a GoPro Hero 6 for my forward-looking view, uh, that provides the GPS versus having to use a separate GPS because the phone GPS's are pretty bad. So the, the GoPro Hero 6 is connected via long cord all the way back to the uh, license plate. So you can really hear Axtang scream. So for the inside view, using this camera right here to make sure uh, I'm not using any kind of death grip, you know, holding on too tight, looking at mirrors, if they hit a cone or something, those are all very bad habits. So you want to make sure you eliminate that and watching your video uh, will really help with that. So as you've seen, uh, I don't have a set of street tires anymore for this car. So uh, how are we getting into the race? Well, I don't have just a normal trailer. So let's go take a look. Welcome everybody to Long Cat. Cat is a 48 foot classic Dominator trailer from 2001. Just spent the last couple months renovating it. Did need a lot of work as it was pretty old. So as you can see, has a nice bed area, workstation, full bathrooms. We can take the dogs along, and let's go take a look at the back. All right, so the back section is a 24 foot garage section. I've done a lot of work back here. Be sure to watch the full video we're going to do in a little bit on Long Cat for all the little in-depth uh, little things I did here and there. So you've got some cabinets and stuff here. So we're going to load up the car and head off onto the race.
so we're back from the race. As you saw, the car did absolutely amazing. Uh, I did place 6 out of 70 raw overall. I was only bested by uh, a Lotus on Hoosiers uh, and their co-driver. Two Porsches, one of which was Ash, uh, who did create the course. And finally, a, Nissan, a brand new Nissan GTR, which uh, was just unbelievably fast. Now, this course was very, very fast, as you saw. So high-power cars definitely had an advantage. One thing about Amelia is the surface is very, very slick. So uh, you don't really get to get the full advantage of using Hoosiers. Not to mention in the ambient air temperature was about 45 or 50 and I ran first so there was no heat in the ground. Being that, I still didn't really hit the, uh, the limits of the car so not really going to mess with any of the alignment or suspension for the next event. I'm going to keep trying so I can hit that limit and see where I need to adjust. Being watching this video and some of my inputs, uh, I think overall it was pretty good. And like I said, I'm just going to try and hit that limit and see where I need to tweak the car here and there. So that's it for this race. Uh, for the next one, I think we're going to do something a little bit more goofy. So make sure to uh, stay tuned. And thanks for watching.